look at the milk coming out. <laughs> Mamma mia. And now pistachio on top. Yes. <laughs> Mamma mia. È <laughs> gigante. <laughs> Buongiorno guys, it's Max Sinestra, I'm in Salerno, a city close to the Amalfi Coast and if you love mozzarella, you better stick around. Andiamo! Today is a very special day, we are in front of Caseficio La Fattoria we are going to witness the making of a very special buffalo mozzarella. Sizzona di battipaglia. Andiamo! Now we are about to enter the lab to see how the mozzarella is made. The production starts at 3 a.m. in the morning when the fresh buffalo milk arrives on the farm. Whey is drained from milk to get this block of curd called cagliata. Then it gets sliced and placed into a machine and cooked at a temperature of 96 degrees Celsius. Finally, a stretchy dough is formed and ready to turn into mozzarella. These are the usual buffalo mozzarella, the round shape ones, the more common ones. And then also bocconcini, the very small one, or nocciolini, which are even smaller. And also sizzona, but sizzona are made by hand. We will see it later. Questa è la treccia, no? Sì. They make uh, several shapes as well. Look at this beautiful treccia. This is very nice. Oh, wow. Right, the moment of truth. The one and only Tizona. Five kilos. The famous Tizona di Battipaglia. A gigante, oh. This is worked by and gently. Manually. This once in a lifetime experience. Oh, wow. This mozzarella, Sizzona, so it comes from the local dialect, which means woman's breast. It has a peculiarity that has a nipple on top. They also told me that usually they are pretty big, bigger than a normal mozzarella. They go from one kilo up to 30. They also make world record breaking Sizzona, 30 kilos. Unbelievable. After watching the making of the Sizzona, now it's time to try it out. Here we are, the Sizzona. <laughs> this is more of a birthday cake. Oh, look at the milk coming out. Oh, wow. Mamma mia. E la caratteristica della zizzona è che deve mantenere, è fatto in un modo che mantiene il latte dentro per poi esplodere al taglio, no? Esatto, devi avere la struttura giusta perché deve, deve sostenere il suo peso, so. però deve trattenere anche il latte, vedi questa struttura retinata sì. serve proprio a trattenere il latte. Oppala! Oh, calda ancora! Mm -hmm. Bu buon appetito allora! Buon appetito! Ma. Mamma mia! Non l'ho mai provata calda appena fatta. It's still hot, warm. See all the milk. Oh my god, so milky and juicy. Mamma mia. Mi va di cannuccia proprio. Il taglio del capezzolo. Grazie mille. This is the nipple. È buono, eh? Ma <ride> è buono. E quando consigli di, um, di mangiarla solitamente, di farla riposare per quanto? Dipende un po' dal palato, perché a me per esempio questa consistenza che ha che, uh, fatta il giorno stesso, quindi dopo poche ore, 
a me, a me piace sentire più quello che il sale. Per quanto riguarda invece il palato del cliente, noi consigliamo sempre di mangiarla il giorno dopo, nel caso di una sezione da 5 kg addirittura dopo due giorni. Quindi dipende sempre dal palato. Dipende dal palato. Apart from the factory and the shop, they also have a restaurant operating from April to September. We got invited into the kitchen to see some of their dishes being prepared and to eat their iconic 1 kg stuffed sitsona. Now they're making pan sitsoni, Christmas dessert, completely smothered in pistachio cream, full of pistachio on top, with candy fruits inside. That's really, really cool. Look, the chef just showed us the biggest one in the house, three kilos. They're going to completely stuff it with the pistachio cream and anche la glassa on top. And even the pistachio glaze on top. Oh, wow. Quanti chili di crema? Due. Due chili di crema. Mamma mia. It's got put two kilos of uh, pistachio cream. So the total will be five because the panzizzone is already three kilos. If you guys are pistachio lovers like me, well, you are at the right place. Opala! Mamma mia! Ooh. Oh wow! Pistachio shower? Yes! This is heaven! And now pistachio on top! Yes! Mamma mia! <laughs> Mamma mia, that's huge! Oh, take a look! Get a close up! <laughs> oh, look, look at the slice! Oh, wow! <laughs> Completely full of pistachio cream! Mamma <laughs> mia! Oh, I bet the pistachio cream is really good, even the dough! The pasta is really nice. The dough is very fluffy, this sweet, really good quality. Okay, we start to eat, and this is our first appetizer. These are called ciliegini, of course, from uh, buffalo milk, covered in pistachio. And they say it's one of the most popular summer dishes of the Tsitsona village. Creamy looking ciliegino. Buon appetito. Oh. Mamma mia, oh. Ciliagino buonissimo. You can really tell the quality. Semi savory, creamy, milky, completely explodes in your mouth and with a lovely crunch of pistachio. Buonissimo. As a first main, we have buffalo meatballs. So this one is a plain portion and these are with tracciata on top. Mm. Mm. This is a bite of joy. It's very unique. I've never tasted it before. Cold and hot. Really, really good. Che spettacolo! Quella cremosità della straccia. Ma this is illegal. This is this is really illegal. Yeah, we had the chef is cutting the mortadella. Oh! <laughs> oh wow! Lo pistacchio. Sì. This is mixed buffalo with pistachio, in, as you can see, and of course pork. Then we have uh, smoked mozzarella, which is smoked in a natural way. Nice. And then pistachio cream. Mamma mia! Una bomba! Grazie mille, chef. Mom, oh, mom, mom, <laughs> oh. What truly makes a difference is the smoked mozzarella. And then you get the crunchiness from the pistachio and the very soft, thinly sliced mortadella. This is becoming one of the best food experiences I've had. Now we're going to make a very special and magic dish. Now we're waiting for the mozzarella to melt and then magic will happen. Opala! Mozzarella. Let's open it up. Let's get rid of the Santa. Oh, yes. And we create a pocket of joy here. And then gnocchi. Ooh. 
È gigante. <ride> Quanto è grande la mozzarella? E Cinque... da un chilo. Oh, un chilo. Ci saranno 400 grammi di gnocchi. <ride> Un po' di parmigiano. Giusto per non farci mancare. Certo. Eccolo qua. Mamma mia. The chef is going to portion it for us. All right, let's try it out. Oh. Sta fumigata. Sta un po' da... Eh, oh. It's a bit smoky. Oh, wow. It's really, really good. Gnocchi are made very well, extra mozzarella, parmesan, this is a bomb. It was a really good experience. Uh, I have to be honest with you, it was heartwarming because everyone was nice, very welcoming, friendly. They showed us literally everything. I could see the passion and the knowledge the, the families and the workers have. It was really, really nice. I will leave all the description in the box down below. Right guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching as always, and see you next Sunday. Ciao!